In what is a landmark case, the Supreme Court has ruled on the obvious, folks, a case that was necessitated to contain the demonic Trump derangement syndrome of the political left. Today, July 1st, 2024, the Supreme Court of the United States stated the obvious to those who completed civics class back in junior high school that the president of the United States has immunity. Now, it's tragic that it took a Supreme Court ruling to end this lunacy, but the political left is so enmeshed in self-loathing, navel-gazing, and hatred of Trump and half the country that we had to have this ruling. In a six to three opinion, and let me pause right there, by the way, shame on the three leftist political activists masquerading as associate justices on the bench. In a six to three opinion, they announced that the president has immunity. Like, duh. According to John Roberts, the president may not be prosecuted for exercising his core constitutional powers, and he is entitled at a minimum to a presumptive immunity from prosecution for all his official acts. Now, he was joined in this opinion by Justices Clarence Thomas, Samuel Alito, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett. However, the president enjoys no immunity for unofficial acts, and not everything the president does is official. But this case goes much further than discussing immunity for the president, and it's probably why Kagan, Sotomayor, and Ketanji Brown-Jackson voted against this outcome. The court on its own threw out parts of the prosecution's current case against Donald Trump on election interference. Roberts also wrote that the president may discuss potential investigations and prosecutions with his attorney general and other Justice Department officials to carry out his constitutional duty. Trump is therefore absolutely immune from prosecution for the alleged conduct involving his discussions with Justice Department officials, including his threat to remove acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen. <laughs> Slam dunk. Now, the liberal activist dissenters could barely contain their outrage over this. Writing for the minority, Justice Sonia Sotomayor said the decision makes a mockery of the principle foundational to our constitution and system of government that no man is above the law. Now, of course, it does not do that. Government officials cannot be expected to perform their duties should they be subject to endless frivolous lawsuits or charges for carrying out their official duties. In their idiotic outrage, the left should be grateful. Otherwise, criminal charges would soon be in the offing for Barack Hussein Obama for the extrajudicial murders of a naturalized American national and his American-born son in Yemen, or for Josh Shapiro, Phil Murphy, and Mario Cuomo, all Democratic governors, who would all also soon be facing charges for crimes against humanity, for putting Rona-positive patients in our nursing homes to kill granny and grandpa. Sotomayor, America's smartest Latina, added, with fear for our democracy, I dissent. And with that idiotic comment and her dissent, it's clear she's unqualified to serve on the court, or any bench for that matter, given her ignorance of the Constitution. Now, at the Supreme Court, Trump's lawyers had argued that without immunity for their official acts, presidents would be hamstrung from taking bold action in the national interest for fear that such decisions could be prosecuted as crimes by subsequent administrations. And that's exactly what's been going on here. Perversion of justice for three years under this corrupt regime under Biden and his Department of Injustice prosecuting people outside abortion clinics for felony acts while people assaulting their children are allowed to walk. Prosecuting Trump for non-existent crimes. The dual standard of justice is sickening. And this decision shouldn't have been necessary, but it does make it clear that presidents have immunity. So what will the left do next? Will they prosecute Donald Trump for claiming the sky is red when it's yellow? Saying the sun is red when it's actually yellow? Who knows? These lunatics will try anything. Anything. If you're not a subscriber, folks, why don't you become one? Hit that button right below the video. And feel free to leave a comment behind if you'd like, we appreciate it and your patronage. Take care and God bless.